Medufa supports a very exciting pilot for what's called the Total Product Lifecycle Advisory Program, or TAP. If you're a developer, trying to get to the market is really fulfilled with pitfalls and traps. It's a game of shoots and ladders where you not only have to get through the FDA for marketing authorization, but coverage and reimbursement by payers and ultimately adoption in the marketplace by providers and patients. As I mentioned, Medufa early on was very much focused on streamlining pre-market review. And yet we know that if you get everything right before you come in the door with your pre-market submission, the review of that submission should go very smoothly. So what TAP is about is addressing those kinds of challenges, essentially the valley of death going from concept to commercialization. TAP is intended to reduce the time and cost and increase the predictability of that valley of death to help spur more rapid development and more rapid and widespread patient access to safe, effective, high-quality medical devices of public health importance. The way we go about it is three ways. First off, creating a new position, what we call the TAP advisor. Now, I mentioned that there's the opportunity today to seek advice from the FDA through pre-submission meetings, but those are kind of stage-gated. You send in your questions, and then within 70 days, we'll provide you with a response and we'll meet with you. If you have more questions, you throw them back over the transom and that process starts all over again. The TAP advisor, rather than just simply reacting to what companies are asking about, will engage proactively and strategically. We'll even independently reach out to the developer to start to identify what are going to be the key challenges uh, and, and questions that need to be addressed, and then strategize on how best to do that to be successful. Secondly, we're expanding our review capacity so that we have the opportunity to engage in much faster than that 70-day sort of stage gate approach. Ultimately, we'd like to make this more real or near real time to be able to answer questions. And then third, we know how important it is that developers understand the perspectives of providers and patients when they're designing their technology so that it best meets the value proposition for them, as well as thinking about the design on clinical studies so they're best suited for patient participation. Also, it's important to get the perspective of payers. Therefore, under the TAP pilot, we essentially offer a menu of services, and that includes, if interested, the opportunity to be connected with the key patient groups, provider groups, and payers, so that you can develop the best strategy for how to get from concept to commercialization and do that as efficiently as possible. And you can see on the slide how this will progress over the course of Medufa 5 as we expand to other technology types and have more participants in the program. To be eligible, you need to receive a designation as a breakthrough device and not have engaged with the program in a formal manner. So you've not had a pre-submission meeting. And if you're eligible to be a part of TAP, I highly encourage you to do so because you'll have that opportunity for back and forth interactions to engage proactively and strategically, to be connected with other key groups if you're interested, and in fact, to help mold that program because we're innovative in our approach as well. We're gonna keep iterating our prototype for TAP over the next few years. And then of course, we'll assess its performance that will help inform where we go in Medufa 6.